<laughs> I know. I wanted to ask you because I, I think you mentioned this a couple of weeks ago. Who is your? Who do you think is the definitive? Yes. Um, perfect choice for a person role in a any, comic any, movie. It's it's J.K. Simmons. Yes. as J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, that's the best. It is the best one. Like whatever, like you know, you'll see a, a, a character, you'll, you'll see a comic book character, and you're like, I wonder who who would be great for that. And you see him on screen, and you're like, yeah, that's pretty pretty accurate. Dead on. No matter what you think of J. Jonah Jameson, he's bloody nailed that. Yeah. He's nailed that role. And I mentioned the the last time we talked about this. I want to see a J. Jonah Jameson film. It's two hours. It's just a shot of him sitting at his desk, and he's just yelling at people that come in. And maybe there's like explosions behind him, like out the window. Maybe Spider Man's fighting Doctor Octopus or Hobgoblin or something like that. It doesn't matter. We, it's never referred to. It's just him yelling at people and like maybe like knocking his phone off the computer off his desk because he doesn't understand it, and then. <laughs> That'd be great. Right? Yelling at his wife yeah, yeah. over the phone. Do you care whether it's set in the Tobey Maguire universe or the current universe? Ah, uh, no. It could even be set in the real world. <laughs> it's just yelling. It's fine. Who I would, oh, I would see that forever. So that's the greatest casting ever. Yeah. But at the same time, in those movies, I think Tobey Maguire, terrible choice for Spider-Man. I, you, I know you're not alone in, in thinking that. Uh-huh. Is it his mopiness? It's mopiness. He's, I, I see, he's kind of like, he's got a, you know, chubby boy face. But he doesn't strike... He, he never at any point strikes me as a, as a high school student. No. Just a chubby boy-faced man <laughs> who's in a high school for some reason. Even though Andrew Garfield is, was older than Tobey Maguire when he was in Maybe his it's version. the hair. It might be the hair. He's got great hair in that. <laughs> he does have great hair. He's still... Andrew Garfield definitely looks younger. But he's only a, a student in that very briefly. Mm. Or a high school student anyway. But yeah, it, it was a... I wouldn't say it would put it down so much to his performance as in some of the writing for that character. He's not very fun. No, he's he has really a lot not fun, to do yeah. with it. Uh-huh. Credit, all due credit for him for working out like a mad dog for that movie. <laughs> like yep. a mad dog. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Same movie, Spider-Man, original Spider-Man, uh-huh. for best. Uh-huh. I think the first one was called Spider-Man, original Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, I think Willem Dafoe is an excellent Green Goblin. Yes, he is. Even though the costume's not great. Terrible costume, I was just thinking that today. Yeah, but he... Is amazing. Yep. And I would even say, um, what's the guy in the second one? Alfred Molonia. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> that's also really good. But Willem Dafoe, what a great choice. He nails the dual characteristics. Yep. He's got that weird goblin head. He's got a goblin head. <laughs> See, exactly, they could have just, they could have just had some sort of like, thin kind of membrane over his face yep. and be like, that's for soldiers in battlefields and it protects against gas attacks or whatever, yep. but they had to do robot face. Well, the funny thing is, though, they actually tried an animatronic goblin face, and there's videos of it online, and uh-huh. it looks a lot like uh, the original kind of 60s green goblin. Uh-huh. Does it work? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, it's hard to say. I mean, it's only, only test footage. Right. It's interesting. Hmm. It's better than a motorcycle helmet. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> does, it look like, does it look like Willem Dafoe? No, uh, not in any way. But neither does a motorcycle helmet. Doesn't look like him either. Good point, also. Yeah, he's brilliant. Mm. What a great dude, and he pops up in the other movies as well. Yeah, just yeah. Briefly, I got one for good. Okay. Gary Oldman, Commissioner Gordon. Good, fantastic. Um, yeah, great Commissioner Gordon. He, he would fit into any Batman universe. Like if you made a more comic booky kind of Batman universe, Commissioner Gordon is always grounded, always a guy, always a gruff kind of mustache. Would you watch a film where? Gary Oldman as Commissioner Gordon is doing a press conference and J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson is in the press pool, right, because all his reporters have called in sick for some reason and he's really annoyed that he has to go out into the field and interview Gary Oldman and it's just a just a back and forth fight between the two. How good would that be? I'd watch that. That would be amazing. Are you kidding me? You know what? That, and it ends with... There's, you know what? There's a series of scuffles. It's two hours long, and there's a series of scuffles throughout the, throughout the film. <laughs> Definitely. I would watch that. Greatest movie ever made. Definitely. That's the, that's the best reason to cross over anything ever. I think so. Red Hot Comic Book Movie News Shooting up your butthole